so I just put a link in the uh, in the chat. Um, it's to my slides, um, but I put a bunch of links in my slides to uh, so you can access all the things yourself. Let me put it in again uh, since Amy joined us. Um, and so I'm just gonna, uh, you guys. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Let's try that one. Oh, uh, that one. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit about the accessibility package in LaTeX. I know, when was it? Last, uh, two years ago when um, Casey came to visit us in the math department, uh, we all asked him, how do you do make PDFs in LaTeX accessible? And he had no idea what we were talking about basically because he started viewing things about uh, math and Mellon and just didn't understand what we, what we talked about. So I did a little bit of research to uh, find this package and uh, started using it in, in my things. So I just want to give a qu very quick overview about what makes a PDF accessible. Uh, basically, that boils down to you want something that can be easily read by, by screen readers. Um, and some of the very basic principles about it is you want to have headings that have HTML tags embedded in it. So basically what that means, think about how you might read a journal article, right? You you don't just read it from start to finish. You Your eyes jump around, you read the section headers, you get a sense of what it's about, then you go back and read the details, right? Well, for a screen reader to do that, it has to have these tags built into it, okay? Another couple of principles is that you need to uh, add alternate text to describe images, uh, which could also include uh, our equations. Um, tables need to be used for, should be used for numerical data. We'll just talk about that one briefly, briefly but you also wanna use descriptive hyperlinks. All right, so what I mean by that is something here, I said for more information, go to the CELT website. Um, instead of having the long URL listed there, because uh, it reads each of those like, letters and symbols on their own. So you want to have these descriptive hyperlinks. All right. And so these are sort of the things that this package actually does. Um, LaTeX files don't usually have the HTML, HTML tags built in, um, but there is this package that does it. Uh, so if you look at, um, I, so, Rebecca, that link is actually directly to that site. <laughs> um, but if you take a look at um, at the presentation, I said, let's consider an, an example here in Overleaf. Uh, these links, this takes you to where you can download the package itself. Um, it is built into Overleaf, but I've, it wasn't in my the what I have downloaded on my computer. So whatever, um, it's in some versions of uh, MCTEC and things, but it's not in others. So it just depends what you have. Um, but there's some package documentation and the source code for the package documentation, which actually gives you the uh, commands that you need um, to use it. So let's take a look at um, uh, the accessibility sample. Um, so I see Elizabeth's in. Um, I can also put the link to this directly in the chat if that's easier. Um, So there's a link, a direct link to the overly file. So um, this here is where you use the package. Okay. Um, so it actually is on CTAN, um, Elizabeth. Um, no, no, only the .ins and .dtx files are. And they're not enough. I I oh I thought it was. Well, that's where well, I got it from. Finish doing your example and um. I will do the example and then take a look. Um, so this is the package here. Um, use package accessibility. There's four options: tagged or untagged, high structure or flat structure. I don't know why untagged is even a. Th Thing because that's what it does if you don't use this the style at all um, and we want high structure the difference between high structure and flat structure at least how I understand it is flat structure basically puts like sections and subsections and sub subsections as all in the same level whereas high structure makes those distinct so 
uh, you'll want to use those two two tags. Uh, and so just including this package like that actually automatically embeds all of those uh, headings for sections, subsections, and so on into the document. Okay. And that's really all you have to do for that for those tags to get in there is you just have to include the package and um, then actually use things like sections and subsections and uh, and so on constructing your document. All right? Any questions on so far? No. All right. Um, so the other thing that it does is that it allows you to add alternate text. And it's pretty simple of a process to do it. So um, you can see here, I have the um, I have this comic strip here. Uh, all you need to do to add the alternate text is use this command backslash alt, and then type the alternate text that you are including in there, and then include the graphic. You do need to put the alternate text before the item. Otherwise, it, it assigns the alternate text to whatever the next thing is. Um, but that's all you really need to do to um, to put alternate text on there is you just put backslash alt, a couple braces, put the text, and then include the item. Um, similarly, for e you can add it to equations, um, both using the equation uh, item or just using display mode. Again, though, you um, just use alt backslash alt type. Uh, ideally without the typos, um, and it assigns that alternate text to it. Um, and then um, hyperlinks, it's really just using hyperref. There's really nothing uh, it, that is a different package in LaTeX to, to do that. It is actually not incorporated in accessibility at all, uh, but it is in uh, hyperref. Okay. Um, and so those are really the uh, all of the things that I have found um, that Logitech can do uh, to create these more accessible, uh, to make these more these documents more accessible. And just as a as a little show, it's not perfect. It doesn't do everything, but this is one I made with um, none without using it at all, and it was only five percent accessible. And then um, it was sixty eight percent accessible. Um, without it. Uh, the main thing is I can't figure out how to get how to make it tag this as being a header row, row in a table. Um, and then the other issue is that for some reason the LaTeX title doesn't come in as the title in the PDF, but that one you can actually fix just by opening it in um, uh, an Acrobat and adding a title. But Or using the HyperF package. Use what? The HyperF package. Oh. Yeah. I'll show you afterwards. It's super, super quick. It's okay. One of the two things I know. Okay, I will. Um, I look forward to hearing that. So that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, just one last little thing about this package. Um, it doesn't do everything, right? Like I said, it's usually about 70%. Um, but that's much better than the zero fundamentally that you start with. Um, it's also sometimes a little bit buggy. One of the things that I found is it doesn't work with the package uh, unum item. It works with enumerate, it works with itemize. It doesn't work with that combo package. So if you use that, um, you might have to go back to enumerate, itemize, um, et cetera. But just, I have found that when I get an error that I can't understand, it's usually coming out of the accessibility package somewhere. Um, so it's, it is experimental and it is sometimes a little bit buggy. Um, but that was essentially what I had to share with you guys, um, but I'll answer questions.